Let's suppose I have a clock, and I want to tell you what time it is. But when you receive it, you don't receive it at 2 o'clock. You receive it by some time later, which has to do with the transit time. How do I measure the transit delay? Well, I can send a signal to you, and you echo it back to me. I measured the round-trip delay, and the one-way delay was one half of that. And you're going to use my knowledge of the one-way delay to adjust your clock. What's the problem with that? The problem with that is the assumption that the inbound and outbound delays were the same. For example, I send the signal to you as a color of light. I'm going to send you a red pulse. And you, remember, you have to echo it back. Now, you can't echo back a red pulse, or at least it's not good enough for you to echo back a red pulse. Because if you echo back a red pulse, I may not be able to distinguish between your echo and the reflection of my signal from something else. So I'm going to send you a red signal, and you're going to send back a blue signal. And now I can distinguish between the signal that I sent to you and the signal that comes back. That sounds like a classic idea. But the trouble with that is that red and blue travel at different speeds. The effect in air is very small, but the effect in fiber is not small. And that's called chromatic dispersion, where the speed depends on the color. So the inbound and outbound are not equal. There's a two-way method. It sounds delicious, except when you get down to the engineering, you discover that there are difficulties with the, with the engineering.